Hey, welcome back to Java with Jeff. I've got my beverage and my Bible today. Hope you do too. Let's just dive right in. I've been thinking about something recently, um, and I think I know the answer that most Christians struggle with, including myself sometimes, around following Jesus. And it's one word, it's the word consistency. We, we struggle with being consistent. And I think this is especially difficult and challenging for the next generation is, what do we mean? Because none of us are perfect. We're all striving to try and be like Jesus, but sometimes we can get into these habits where we're not consistent at all and we keep falling back into the same things. Like where's the consistency to say yes to Jesus and no to sin? Where's the consistency to pursue holiness versus happiness? Where's the consistency in just trying to every day try and get closer to Jesus in maturity? I think a lot of Christians struggle with that. My encouragement to you is to lean into Jesus, to get closer to Jesus, to certainly study the Bible and pray and talk to him on a regular basis. And Jesus had something to say about this idea of consistency. He said it in John chapter 15, verse four. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. So that word remain can also mean abide, dwell in, get closer to. And we don't, we don't do a very good job of always remaining. We kind of get close and then we do something we shouldn't do and get far away and we struggle with this back and forth. It's like a roller coaster ride that goes up and down. And on most of those, I get sick. And I think that's what we do with ourselves. We, we kind of get sick of having this pattern where I'm close to Jesus and then I'm not. I'm close to Jesus and then I'm not. I just want to encourage you today. Get as close to Jesus as you possibly can. Abide in Him. Be consistent with Him. Grow closer to Him so that you're not frustrated by this up and down lifestyle of Christianity. Hope that's encouraging you today. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week on Java with Jeff.